This is the last part of the tutorial and what we want to do, we want to extract the source address and the destination address and we want to have them nice uh, format. So we will create um, a variable that is called source address and we will use a function which is called inet n to a uh, in Python and you can find it right here and to a which takes an packed IP address version 4 32 packed IP version 4 address and it will output it like that a very nice way so I think it stands for network to ASCII chain probably or I'm not sure and a mm, and we will take our ninth element and the same let's make it for the destination address unpacked data the tenth element the last one so this is it basically right now we have everything we need we just need to make somehow um, write to write all this data so let's start making some prints so let's say an IP packet with the size um, percent I was captured and what the size is we'll specify by the total length or yes, this is our total length like that and then we want to print the raw data that we have received and it is kept in our variable data and then we want to see how it was parsed so our parsed data Mm, and let's make a new line here so first of all what we want to have we want to have the version let's add some tabulation and we have here our version is stored but it is stored as an integer and again let's make it a string in order to concatenate it and then another print which will be the header length that we want to have it some extra tabulation again and we want to have our internet header length I I the size well actually it won't be exactly in bytes in order to make it in bytes we need to multiply it by 32 and then um, divide by 8 but we can multiply it by 4 straight forward and we need to specify that those are the bytes and then another print which will be the type of service mm. and we'll just call the function that we have created like for the get type of service and we will set as the parameter our what we have here the unpacked the second element from our unpacked data and then we want to have the length the total length mm. Again, we have it, so it's not a problem. And then we want to have the identification. Again, we have it just like that. We can print it in hex and then in decimal form. So if we want to do that, we need to use this function hex 
then specify our ID. And then in the parentheses we can also specify uh, the ID in as a decimal number like that. After the ID we have the flags. In the flags and let's call the function get flags and as a parameter flags then we have the fragment of set again it's pretty easy we just want to output all these things on the screen mm, then time to leave the protocol that we have We call the function get protocol and as a parameter we need the protocol number that we have. Then there is this checksum. And the last two our source address type source specify our source address and then the destination and this will be the destination address they are already strings so there is no need to use this str function and the last one is our payload what data do we have in this datagram that we have captured so we'll take our data and output everything that is beginning with the 20th character and let's try, I think that's all. Let's try to run it and to see if we have any mistakes. So, okay. Okay, I know why is that, because it's from the socket module. So that's why, of course, we need to specify socket.inet and so on and so forth. Okay. Let's wait. Okay, again, something I have done <laughs> here in this function, it's there is no such variable as data, so it's data. Okay, let's try one more time. And this is it. So what we have, we have here an IP packet with the size 130 was captured. This is our raw data that we have. And then we have parse data, the version number, the header language is 20 bytes, type of service, all these bits that we have extracted, the length again is the same, the ID in hex and the ID in decimal, our flags, uh, the fragment offset, the time to leave, our protocol, the um, TCP checksum, the source and the destination, and all the rest, the payload. We can try one more time and for example we can go to google and it should catch a packet so yeah well it even catched a bit of html so as you can see so the destination was my ip address and the source the one from the internet so this is it um, our network sniffer works fine.